Hello, hello handbag lovers. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to a new video. If you're new here, my name is Kayla and today I want to share with you my top five best luxury handbags that I bought in 2023. So let's get started. Okay, so honestly, I thought at the beginning of the year that 2023 was going to be a low buy year. And I am very, very happy with my collection right now. So I think 2023 is going to be a low buy year. I think so. But okay. oh boy, I was so wrong. I got or oh, I bought 13 handbags in 2023. I know that's crazy. And honestly, I hope, I hope that 2024 is a low buy year. So I am just planning to get maybe two or three handbags in 2024. So let's see how that goes because right now I'm working from home, but I like to go out with my husband during the week, maybe to grab dinner. I go to run errands and also on the weekends, we always go out and we love to travel. So I use all my handbags and I rotate my handbags every day. Like if I'm using one today, tomorrow I will use another one because I like to wear them at all and it was kind of like hard to decide my top five favorites but I have five here and I have one uh, that is number six and it's going to be an honor mention because it's not technically a handbag so I'm going to start with one of the first handbags I mean this is the first handbag uh, that I got in 2023 and it's my beautiful Louis Vuitton set in the Damier Azur so I have this twilly that I put I think yesterday that it looks so so cute I love it and it, the color it's so cute too and I, I am not a big fan of twillies, but in this one it looks so cute and also I want to, you know, maintain the color on the Vegeta leather because in the Mie Azur, I kind of like don't like that much the patina on the Vegeta leather with the Damien Azur print. This is a handbag that I already owned before in the Damien Event print. I sold it because for some reason I didn't like Damien Event print that much before, so I wasn't reaching for the handbag. I kind of like regret selling that one a little bit but I got this one because uh, when I got my Alma BB in the Damien Azur I fell in love with the print and I was like kind of like wanted to get another one kind of like the Alma BB like to rotate those in the summer so I love this one I'm very happy that I got it I baby this handbag this is kind of like I think my like the handbag that I baby the most because the interior is really light and it's kind of like a handbag that I use for kind of like everyday use and I also have an organizer in this handbag this organizer is not for this handbag this organizer I got it for the uh, Louis Vuitton Cousin PM and in the middle I don't use the organizer so I put it in this one it's a little bit big but but I don't mind and I like and I love it because it comes right here so it protects all the uh, interior. I've had this handbag for a year now and the interior and the exterior is in pristine condition. And this is a handbag. It comes with a crossbody strap but I don't use it with the crossbody strap. I like to use this with just top handle or on the crook of my arm. I love it. And honestly this handbag was influenced by Melissa Adams. She has a channel here in YouTube so one day she posted a, a picture on her Instagram with this handbag and I was like, oh my God, yes, it's so beautiful in the Damiasur. I have to have it. So I got it that same day that I saw that picture. So yes, this was influenced by Melissa. I will link her channel down below. Okay, next handbag that I'm so happy that I got in 2023 was my YSL Look Camera Bag in the um, Crema Soft or Vintage Blanc color. And I have the new style that it comes with the back pocket. So this handbag is amazing. I love the color. It's a handbag that I already own in the beige color. So I knew I love this style. Honestly, when I went to get the beige color, I wanted this color, but they didn't have in stock and you know i wanted to get out or walk out to the store with a handbag so i got the beige color it's a beautiful color honestly uh, but since i got this one i haven't been reaching for the beige color that much so i think i kind of like want to sell the beige color because i have this one and i'm i'm happy with this color because it goes with everything i mean beige goes with everything too but white i mean it's amazing and uh, if you follow me you know that I love white handbags so 
The only thing I will say that the wear and tear in this handbag is kind of like noticeable and mostly in this part right here, the leather is kind of like wrinkled. I don't know if you're going to be able to see. So that worries me a little bit. And this handbag has a flop, the new style too, that it doesn't stay flat here in the top. It's supposed to be like this, but it goes like that. Honestly, I don't mind that. And it's a handbag that I love, love, love to wear. The strap is a little bit long on me. And I just did one, another hole here. This is the last uh, adjustment. So I did another hole here. I just did it with uh, a scissor like this. And I opened the hole. And yeah, on the beige, I did that too. I kind of like didn't want to do it on this one. Uh, but I had to do it because crossbody is a little bit long and I like to wear this handbag also just uh, on the shoulder like that and in the last adjustment it was too long for me so I'm happy that I did this yeah this is a very practical handbag I love it I love it with the back pocket honestly at the beginning I was like no I don't need the back pocket because uh, the handbag is practical so maybe I can just have the back um, you know open and grab uh, my phone when I need it but no honestly the back pocket is so practical because the way I can have the bag zip and have my phone here and also put receipt and things like that so yes i'm so happy that i got this color honestly this is my favorite between the beige and this one number three honestly i didn't want to put the handbags that i got at the end of the year because obvious reasons because i haven't wear them that much but this one it's a favorite definitely it's my speedy 20 in the damier event print i know i love it it's a handbag that i've been wanted since it launched in july i wanted to get this handbag like in july so bad i i was going to buy it and for some reason i was like no kayla stop because in june i got two leviton handbags so i was like i'm going to enjoy those and then i will get it sometimes we get uh, to um excited for handbags and I, this is my thing i get excited and then i want another one and then another one and i don't end up uh, enjoying the ones i just got so that's why 2024 i want to be a low by year because i want to enjoy the handbags that i have so this one i know it's a favorite because i have the speedy 20 in the classic monogram and it's a handbag that i love 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 to travel with so sometimes when i have the handbag i it's a handbag that i want to wear for every day like uh, go and run errands and things like that but the monogram I, I am kind of like scary to uh, take the handbags for every day even though I take it in every trip so that's why I wanted the Damien event because it's a carefree handbag I took this one to Honduras and it was amazing this one comes with the guitar the jacquard strap I love the jacquard strap because uh, at the airport or when you're walking all day it's very comfortable to wear but sometimes it's like kind of like annoying when I just want to wear the handbag on the crook of my arm uh, or just off handle but yeah this is a favorite definitely it's amazing it fits a lot I love the red interior I don't uh, like that much like I said organizers for my bag but I think I will get a one for this one and one for the classic monogram too because uh, these are handbags that I use a lot and when I go to travel sometimes I have snacks and things like that and I don't want them to get ruined because I plan to have these handbags for um, you know years and years so yes I'm so happy that I finally got this one and I can't wait to get this one in the Dami Azur when it when it's going to launch. I don't know if that is going to happen. I bet it's going to maybe someday, but yeah, I will get this one also in the Dami Azur to have my trifecta. Okay, definitely another favorite of mine is this baby right here and this is the Leviton Nano Speedy. This one was an impulse buy. I wasn't planning on getting this one but I follow an account on Instagram so he sells some of his pieces so he was selling this one and it was a good price and it didn't came with the strap so I didn't mind that because I have plenty of straps that I can wear with this one. But this baby, oh my god, it's so cute, first of all. And it's so tiny, but fits my essentials really nice when I want to go and run errands. This is really easy for me. Uh, it doesn't fit my phone. I mean, it fits the iPhone 
14 Pro Max, but you have kind of like to maneuver to, you know, fit the phone in the back. So it's kind of like sometimes annoying to get the phone in and out. So when I use this handbag, it's mostly for, you know, go and run errands that I'm always wearing leggings with pockets or shorts with pockets or sweatpants. So I don't need, I don't have the necessity to have the phone in the back. Also, I got this case on Amazon and it comes with this uh, wristlet and it's amazing because sometimes I can be hands-free and have my phone um, here. So I love this case. Yeah, like I said, it's a small but fits my essentials really nice. I have a receipt here and also I have money. I have a dollar and also I have a tie but I always like to leave a tie in my handbags just in case I need them. And yeah, this is amazing, beautiful, how cute this handbag is. I love the threaded leather on this one. I don't know if this threaded leather will stain with the water or things like that. I'm not sure about that, but I think uh, it makes the handbag, uh, you know, more carefree. So yeah, this is definitely, definitely one of my favorites that I got this year. So next handbag, honestly, I was debating between the Pochette Matisse is West or this one. The Pochette Matisse is West is the bag I got for my birthday and it's a bag that I love. It's really practical and I love to wear it. Uh, for running errands and things like that but I choose this one as my favorite because I always want to travel with this baby and yes it's my uh, Dauphine wallet on chain yes she is tiny but she is so cute and so adorable honestly this is a handbag that it was not on my radar like the one I wanted, it was the, the Dauphine Mini influenced by Melissa Adams because she has the this one in the mini size that is, of course, bigger. And I think that bag is so elegant, so classy. But that one, of course, is uh, more expensive than this one. And actually, this one is a little bit pricey for being a wallet on chain. But I saw this one one time in Fashion Pile and I was like, it was a good price. And then I got an alert. I think it was a 5% or 10% discount of the price. And then I went to Louis Vuitton and I tried this one on and I fell in love. So I tried to see if my phone fits and what fits actually in this bag because it's really tiny. So my phone fits. So that was a yes for me. I have to stop this bag because I took this bag to Honduras and I always put things in the bag you know to maintain the shape and when I open it it was like so flat so I was like I was scared but uh, I stuffed it with this dust bag and it's right now uh, perfect so I love this one because it's very durable very carefree and like I said I love to travel with this handbag because of that because it's small and it's a bag that I can use uh, for you know nights out and it comes with this beautiful chain. I wore this handbag also casual with a cross leather crossbody strap and it looks really beautiful too. But I love to wear it with this chain because it looks so elegant, so classic. I don't know, I'm so happy that I got this one. And the wear and tear is amazing. Even though it's a handbag that I've used a lot in 2023. Okay, last but not least, the honor mention goes to my YSL Optum pouch. Oh my god, I love, love, love this baby so much. I was eyeing for a raffia luxury bag, but I didn't want to spend that much money for a raffia bag because, uh, I mean, it's raffia, okay? But when I saw this one, I was, yes, I want it, I want it. And right now I have this one and I have a coach mini tote um, that is in raffia also. So I'm good for the summer with the raffia material. This clutch is amazing, fits uh, my phone, fits my uh, Louis Vuitton key clay that is pretty much that I want to, that is my essentials, honestly, a lipstick uh, and actually fits my sunglasses. I have uh, a YSL uh, sunglasses that they are really uh, slim so they fit perfect in this handbag so when I wear this handbag during the day in the summer I use those sunglasses and, the, and it fits perfect and also I have this beautiful gold chain that um, Next Fashion uh, sent me it's beautiful I love it and mostly I wear this handbag like of course as a clutch but I like to wear it uh, like on the crook of my arm and I always have the chain just to just if I want to be hands-free and I got this organizer on Etsy I love it because I can 
uh, be organized in this tiny bag. And in this part, I have like necessities, you know, band-aids, gum, hand sanitizer. I also have my pad if I need to retouch things. I have a perfume and also in these mini bags, I always bring with me my mini eyelash glue. I got also the other, the wristlet clutch at the end of, I know it was, I don't remember when I got that clutch. Yeah, I think it was in July or August that I got the wristlet YSL clutch and I'm planning on getting another clutch. I'm not sure because I really love to, I, I enjoy to wear the YSL clutches. So yeah, it's, they are not expensive and they are beautiful and practical, at least for me. So yeah, this is the video for today. I hope you like it. Please don't forget to give me thumbs up. Also subscribe to my channel if you like this kind of content and see you until my next video. Bye.